All right, hey guys, it's Harrison here. And today we are going to be talking about coming out. So I've had this question asked a lot, like how did I come out? So I hope that this answer suffice because I actually ended up coming out four times. So I think the thing that I really want to get out of this video is to tell everybody that you're fluid, is that you don't have to pigeonhole yourself to one thing. And if you say you're one thing, you can change your mind. Because I did that. So I'll talk about, I'll start from the beginning and uh, and then we'll end up to where I am today and how I'm feeling about coming out and how my mindset has changed since I first started coming out. When I first came out I was in grade 7 so that I was probably 13-ish. Uh, obviously being a straight trans man I was attracted to women and I thought that that's what made me different. I thought that I was just really a lesbian or a gay woman. I didn't really realize what trans was at the time, uh, but I think maybe if I would have known that language or I would have known something about that, maybe I would have come out as trans sooner. So I'm 24 years old. This was about 11 years ago. So I'm not, I, a lot of things have progressed since then. But anyway, so I came out in grade seven. I, I came out to my closest friends. I never really came out to my family or anything like that. It was just, I chose a few people that I wanted to tell and I came out as bisexual. I was just 13 years old, going through puberty, just trying to figure out what I really was. And I knew that I was attracted to women, but I knew I should have been attracted to men. So I kept the blanket of bisexual. And I remember when I came out, I had a bad experience with it, with one of the people that I told. So it made me kind of go back into the closet and kind of just forget that I ever came out as anything different than straight. So when I first came out, I called one of my friends on the phone. Uh, she was my best friend at the time. And um, I called her and I was like, hey, like, I want to tell you something. And she was like, okay, yeah, tell me. And I was like, okay, well, I just wanted to let you know that I'm bisexual. And it was just kind of like silence on the phone. And I was like, oh, uh-oh, what's going to happen next? And she goes, do you like me? And I was like, no, I just, you're my friend and I want to tell you. Just because I'm bisexual and I'm attracted to women doesn't mean that I like every woman. And it just was really weird. And this was at the time, um, I'm gonna date myself again. This was the time when MySpace, when everyone was using MySpace. So we were each other's top friends, everything. Uh, I'm sure people that are older are listening to this being like, oh yeah, I know what you mean. But um, we were each other's top friends and you could put statuses like you would on Facebook. And she took me right out of her top friends after that. And then like made her status like really grossed out by somebody. And that really like, that really did affect me. It really did kind of set me back. And I, I'm not sure um, if she really knew what she was doing because we're young. And I'm not sure if she knew the impact of what she really did to my mentality, to my confidence and everything like that. We're not, we're not in contact anymore. I haven't talked to her in years, but I'm sure it would be a totally different story now because things are more accepting. Everyone's kind of has the knowledge. You can't really expect a 13 year old to really react in a proper way. So I, I don't hold anything against her. Uh, I just hope that this can be a learning tool for maybe some younger kids that don't really understand and should do their research before they talk badly about somebody um, because it can really hurt them. And it did hurt me, it really did. But I got over it. I can't really remember the exact motions that I'm going, that, that I went through, but it did really scare me into not telling people. So then the next time I came out, I was in about grade 11, which is when the time that I had like my first girlfriend. Um, it wasn't really much of a relationship, but it was the first time I ever had any um, romance with a girl. And that's kind of what really helped me come to grips with coming out and being open about it because I never wanted to lie about what I was doing. I never wanted to have anybody a secret or any part of my life a secret. So that really, once I got a girlfriend, it really pushed me into coming out but I came out as a lesbian or a gay woman I, I don't really like the term lesbian probably because I'm trans I never really did like the term lesbian because it just meant woman you are a gay you are a woman who likes women and it never really it didn't vibe with me um, I guess subconsciously my the trans man in me was like no don't call yourself a lesbian but uh so I usually went by gay so I came out as gay to my friends and my family and it, it went okay um, I think People were older, people were more educated on the fact. Like, so I was like 17, 18 years old and I played hockey. So anybody that's played hockey and knows the sport, it's very LGBT friendly. There's a lot, every team that I've been on basically was 50-50 on straight and gay people. So it really wasn't anything new. My take on coming out when I came out as gay, um, 
it was a little bit of a shock to my family and it did take a little bit of getting used to when I started to bring girls around the house and say I had a girlfriend or go I'm going over to my girlfriend's house to my family it was a little bit strange um, it took a little bit of getting used to and I think that that's something that you have to real, realize when you come out that okay this is the reaction that happens there's a shock there some cases there is a shock um, some cases it's really okay that's what you are great who cares you're a person and I wish that I had that but I didn't but there's always that initial like oh my gosh like my child is not cookie cutter my child is not exactly what I envision them when walk down the aisle to a man um, I think that that kind of dream shattered and it was a little weird at first but years went by and it started to kind of be the norm that's what happened when I came out as 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 gay so I came out so now recap so I came out as bisexual then I came out as gay and then so once I went to university started to really find myself I really could just express myself the way I wanted to so um, around my second year of university I started to come out as trans to my teammates to my friends to my family teammates and friends were fine everyone uh, it's a little bit of a growing pain growing pains when your friends need to start gendering you different than they always have or call you a different name like so it was a little bit of a learning curve for them but my friends genuinely wanted to learn and wanted to make me feel comfortable so that really helped me a lot so then when I started to come out to my family uh, mostly my sister I started to come out to her and uh, this was four years ago and when I first came out to her she didn't really take it that seriously because I wasn't physically transitioned so I didn't really look the part um, and I think that that was kind of a learning curve for her as well that even though I wasn't physically transitioned, I was mentally transitioning and it still is really important for me to be gendered properly and to be called a different name. It's not just when the person makes the physical changes is when you need to make the change. No, the person's going through it in their mind and I think that was something that my sister really had to learn. And it took a few years for me to really gain the courage to push that and say, no, like even though I'm not physically transitioned, it doesn't mean, make me any less trans. The mindset that I had when I first came out as trans was I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm making things uncomfortable for everybody around me. And when I first came out, I think that people think that when you come out, you're so confident and you, 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 you will correct people right away. Like, I'm sure that's, I'm, I'm sure there are some people that are like that, but I think for the most part, people are very timid when they first come out. They're not necessarily going to correct people that misgender them. They're gonna be like, oh, okay, well, that's just the way it is. And that's the way that I went through life. Uh, for years after I came out, I didn't have the confidence to correct people. I didn't have the confidence to be like, no, that's not my name, but this is, Harry is my name. It took a while. And I think that that's the biggest thing that people need to realize is that you're gonna gain that confidence. It's gonna come, but it takes, it might take months, it might take weeks, it might take years. It took years in my case. And then when I told my parents, it was a little bit different. Um, it, it, it was tough, but it's going on to year five of me and every year it gets better every month it gets better when I came out last year publicly I considered that my fourth time coming out I was coming out to the whole world uh, I don't think many people have this fourth coming out um, or this coming out on this magnitude and people are like oh wow you're so confident you're so confident it's because I've been out for four years I think once you get older and you mature see I'm 24 years old you kind of get to that stage when you're when you're a teenager you have like the spotlight syndrome that you think everybody's looking at you now looking back on my time then everybody was self-conscious about themselves they were too worried about thinking about what other people thought of them to think about you 24 is when i i think that i'm still going to grow and i'm still probably going to find differences in myself i'm still learning uh but i feel very confident in who i am and very confident in uh, asserting myself. So yes, I just really started asserting myself with my family this year. Uh, so it took me four years to gain the courage to assert myself in that way. Um, so be patient, things will get better and uh, you just have to hold yourself and the people that you want to correct to a high standard and know that they know better and realize that coming out as trans or being trans isn't something to be ashamed of. See, I think that when I was growing up, um, and coming out as gay or trans or whatever I did at the time, I thought that I was disappointing people and I thought that I was not being a good child to my parents by coming out as something other than straight, not being cookie cutter. I thought that I was the problem, but you're not the problem at all. You have these burdens that society puts on you 
that you should be a certain way, but you don't need to be that way. And if you're not, you don't need to apologize for anything. You are who you are, and people should view you on who you are and treat you with respect. So I think that once I realized that, and once I realized that I wasn't the problem, this is just who I was, coming out 11 years ago to now, I've grown so much. I've gained so much confidence. So if you're just at the beginning stage, know that it will get better. You do not need to feel confident right when you come out. Coming out is so terrifying. It's probably one of the hardest things to do, I would think. Don't be so hard on yourself. Know that you will get stronger. You don't need to be so confident right when you come out. It will take time. The people around you will adjust. You will adjust to yourself. Like when people first started calling me he and people first started calling me Harrison, I felt very weird. I felt very strange and it didn't feel very connected to it. But it took practice and it took it for myself. Like sometimes I would refer to myself as she. Sometimes I would refer to myself as my previous name. And I'd be like, why am I doing that? It's because it's a habit. You've been doing that for many years before and you don't have to be so hard on yourself if you slip up or if anybody slips up um, just know that it takes practice it takes time it will get better and I'm, I think this is just a part one next video I'm gonna do a part two on how to deal with people not accepting you when once you come out I think that this video is just kind of a little taste into coming out and what I went through and then I'll talk about how I made things better stay tuned for that I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope that this is a learning tool for you and you can see a different perspective. Now, not everybody goes through this. Obviously, you your own person, so you're gonna go through different things when you come out. I think what everybody needs to realize is that you're on a journey. Your whole life is a journey. If you say you're one thing at one point in time, you grow and evolve, you can be another thing. See, I came out as bisexual, gay, and trans. And just because I came out as something different than what I am now doesn't mean that I'm not it and doesn't mean that I'm wishy-washy. It just means that you're coming to terms with who you are. You're learning about yourself as you go. And it's a journey, it's a process. You don't need to come out as anything. You can just be yourself, but I chose to come out. I wouldn't change either way that I did it. The four times I wouldn't change any way because each time I learned something new and each time made me stronger and more confident. So just hang in there, know that it will get better. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Take care.